Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's Jez. And welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have missed you guys so much. Like, I know I've been uploading very, very on time, very frequently, and I even double uploaded last week, but... I don't know, I miss you guys, especially this week because I started college this week. Yes, I am a college girl now. I hope my subscribers that have been with me since the beginning are proud of me because I started my channel the summer of my junior year, um, the summer before going into junior year. So yeah, I'm a freshman in college now. And yeah, it's been exhausting. I had my first day today, so hopefully I don't look too rough because this is the makeup I wore in the beginning of the morning and now it's nighttime. So if you guys want to see a college vlog one day, like let me know. Probably not right now because I'm still adjusting, but yeah, maybe soon. And that's enough with the catch up for right now. But as you can tell by the title for today's video, I'm going to be testing or not really testing but i will be unboxing and reviewing for you guys some popular k-beauty makeup items that i have seen trending on instagram pinterest and also tiktok so yeah all the products i would say that i'm gonna unbox them but i've already tried most of them because i wanted to test them out before i told you guys how i felt about it i'm so excited to show you guys these items because i swear my life they're so good but this is my first time doing a haul from Olive Young. So if you guys don't know what Olive Young is, it's a K-beauty website. Um, they have physical stores in Korea. And I don't know, they sell a lot of things. They sell like Korean beauty, Korean skincare. They have some masks there, masks. And they also have K-pop albums, which I just found out. So yeah, if you guys are ever interested. Also, by the way, this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Okay, I spent my own money for this vlog, I mean for this haul, so yeah, no one's paying me to say anything positive or negative, so yeah. Okay, I'm sorry for talking so much, but I just have to tell you guys that I need to tell you how incredible the deals were for this haul that I'm going to show you, because it was basically worth about $200, but I bought it during Olive Young's like big sales, like I don't know, big summer blowout sale, I don't know. Um... So I only paid 90, which is still a lot, don't get me wrong. Like 90 is a lot of money, but from 200 to 90, like that is so good. So I don't know if you guys are ever interested, like I hope this haul can maybe convince you to purchase from Olive Young because I just found out about it. And like, they have amazing sales. They have like really good sales. And also I am a YesStyle lover, diehard YesStyle influencer, but there are some Korean beauty products and brands that they just don't carry and olive young like carries all of them like they even carry like i don't know like brand new kbd brands that you've probably never even heard of like they're just like you know starting out or whatever but yeah olive young carries them so anyways if you're ever interested in purchasing anything i do have a code i am an olive young influencer and my code will also be down in the description and everything i show in this video will be in the description i'm sorry for talking too much but you know i shouldn't apologize because it is my channel so i do what i want anyways let's get into the video okay so first i'm going to show you guys some cushion foundations i got and maybe you've heard of the brand before maybe you haven't it's pretty well known and that is espoir hopefully i said it right espoir espoir but yeah i got these two cushion foundations because i actually sorry this one's open i actually is this upside down it's upside down i have never like bought cushion foundation before the only cushion foundation i've ever used is the one that yesel sent me and yeah that lasted me two years i don't know if it should have lasted me that long but it did it did and i loved i loved that cushion foundation but i wanted something new i wanted to try something purchase something for myself so yeah i got two. First off i got espoir 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 <laughs> natural glow finish their b glow cushion foundation right this is it because i wanted to try something very light i'm actually wearing it right now but you know don't judge it right now because also i've been wearing this for like a whole day but also it lasts really good um and also I'm like kind of sweaty so i don't know but besides the point it's really good and it just it's very very light coverage though i don't know it's very light coverage and it just evens out my skin tone, but gives me such like a nice glowy look. But I'm telling you guys right now, don't be fooled though. Like 
because I'm also sweating. So like, that's why I just, you know, let me know if you guys want to see like a makeup tutorial using the products I show you guys. Like I got a little, I got a few makeup tutorials I got to do soon. So just let me know. But um, this is what the packaging looks like. Oh, okay. Sorry, there's like a lot of fingerprints on it because I've been using it. But it's so nice, gold and reflective. It's so pretty, so fancy. And then here is what the inside looks like. I love this sponge. It's actually like, it's just really nice. I don't know. I don't know but what i noticed is this is what the inside looks like it says be glow on it is um it doesn't like when you push on it doesn't actually go that deep because i was used to my other cushion foundation it was pretty deep so you gotta push hard this one really not that much so i wouldn't recommend this if you want heavy heavy full coverage but it's pretty good for just light makeup days because as i said i'm going to school and also it's so hot where i live and my school it's like it's it's a university it's like outdoors I'm like i don't know you always have to walk for college so i'm like sweating off everything so i needed a light coverage so this is what i got but when winter comes you already know i will be using my pro uh taylor um b velvet this is the b velvet um matte condition con not, it's not but this is a matte foundation or velvet foundation i don't know i don't really don't know what's the difference but yeah i actually haven't tried this one yet because i'm not trying to wear full coverage right now but once like winter hits like maybe i'll probably I'll, i don't know maybe i'll try wearing full coverage um or if like there's a big event but this is the packaging it is so beautiful it's this beautiful red but also i'm pretty sure this is as far as like popular popular this is the popular foundation this one the b velvet one also can i just say that they both come with refills okay that's really good and they're both originally 40 dollars so this one's like 36 i think but like you go up they're like both 80 together right and i got this whole haul for you for 90 you just need to let that sink in <clears throat> you need to let that sink in and see how good the deals i got but anyways we're just gonna open it together and this is a sponge it's different from the other one i think i can't remember anymore but this one is nice it's the same i mean but like this one's like kind of fancier um but yeah this is a comfort velvet matte i haven't tried it yet i was scared that the color was going to be too light on me just because korean foundations have just they they lack in skin um like colors you know for foundation which is like very very disappointing and i hope like i hope in the future there are better cushion foundations with more like i don't know more choices but i'm gonna open this for you guys asmr that's right i was literally saving it smells good oh my god the the foundation smell like really good but it's just be velvet on it oh my god it smells so good. I love it. I don't even know how to describe it. It's not floral, but it's just a very, very nice scent. I love their smell. But if you don't like scented products, then maybe keep it in mind. But like when you put it on, it's not, you know, it's not scented. But yeah, I also got it in the color beige, if anyone was curious. And this is their, no, there's, I was going to say, I thought this was their darkest color, but they actually have a darker color. It's tan. So yeah, I'm color beige though. Okay, next I've been seeing, I'm not kidding. I've seen this palette so many times all over my Instagram and I literally have so many pictures of it saved. This may be like the, what's it called? The palette that you've been seeing on Inst on Pinterest um, trending. Maybe I'll put some pictures up here of like what it may look like, but I finally got my hands on the palette. So yeah, let's just get into it. This is the Day Zeke, Day Sick day seek i don't know palette eyeshadow palette and this is i want to show you guys the packaging because this is the coolest packaging i've ever seen in my life look hold on and then you just open it and the palette's supposed to be in there but it's such beautiful packaging like you can tell that they put a lot of like detail and love and effort into this package um and here's the eyeshadow guys it's amazing it is so beautiful i heard that this palette, like this brand, is very well known for their eyeshadows because their shimmers are very, very wet looking. They're like have the best wet looking shimmers. Um, I don't know if you can tell right now. I was wearing them in the morning. I don't know if I still have any glitter left. I don't know. Like, 
I've been I went through my classes okay so I'm, a, I'm looking a little rough but in the morning my makeup was looking good but yeah I got like this very pink peachy neutrals palette because I wanted something I could wear every day but they have a lot a lot a lot of colors so yeah definitely check out all the colors they have i will definitely in the future be getting more of this palette because also it is so pigmented it's crazy like it's really like you just got dip i had to dip in my brush just like a little bit and it covers my whole lid it's so pigmented so i really swear by this like definitely one of my favorite palettes or my favorite palette in general i don't know no but yeah everything i'm wearing on my face is like I use it's it's in the haul. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is next I got these two beautiful lip tints. Okay, because I've been I saw their um like promo whatever like the brand promoting it and I don't know their promo pictures look so pretty and the packaging is so nice. So I will show you guys the packaging first. So this is the packaging. It's in this red box and the brand is. I hope I don't say it wrong. Don't come for me. Musige Mansion. <laughs> it sounds so like butchered. I don't know how. Musige. Musige. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up. <gasps> I'm gonna call this brand MM. And then it says dive into the ice, melt me down, pull me in illusion. That's what it says. It literally sounds like K-pop lyrics. I don't know. Is that just me? But yeah, cute little packaging. And I'll show you guys. I got two lip tints. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is so cool. So these are called the Icy Glow um, lip tints. So isn't it cool? It's like, it's in ice. It's so cool. Little, little ASMR moment for you guys right there. Um, you're welcome. But yeah, this, uh, this color I got is number two. And I think this one's called Untold. So this one's more of like a peachy, um, orangey color, if you can tell. Peachy lip tint, orangey lip tint. I got this one because I thought it would match the eyeshadow palette that I showed you guys previously. So yeah. Then I got in a darker color, a darker like mauve pink MLBB color is right here. And this is in the color Cheshire. Yes, like the Cheshire Cat. And this is in color six, number six. So yeah, here I'll show you guys. Let me right there. So yeah, what are my opinions on this? I was really, really excited to try them. Um, they have a smell and a taste. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like floral, honestly. It reminds me of floral, like fruity floral. Um, I have, have tried it a few times. It got on my mouth. I didn't really enjoy it, but it's not horribly like, you know, like gag worthy or anything like that. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, it's like a floral kind of fruity. I don't know, but um, my opinions on this. I was very, very excited, very hyped. I'm actually wearing it. Um, it's layered with something else though, so I'll get to that. But I'm wearing, I'm wearing Cheshire right now, layered it with something else. But anyways, my only thing is that I don't think it lasts very long, honestly. I feel like when I check my phone, like it's already gone or I don't know. I don't really see like a big difference in it tinting my, it definitely tints my lips, but like it doesn't stay on my lips, you know, which I, I get, it's a lip tint. It's supposed to tint your lips, but I like it to stay on my lips for a little bit longer, you know, keep that little glossy effect. So she's, she's very pretty, very beautiful. I love her, but she's not my favorite. I thought she would be, but she's not. And if you guys are wondering what my favorite glowy lip tint is, you should definitely check out my last year style haul, my back to school year style haul, because that's where I found my the love of my life, my favorite lip tint ever, and that's the Amuse lip tints. But yeah, they also sell Amuse on um, Olive Young, if you guys are ever interested. So you don't have to buy Amuse on Yes Style, you can also buy it on Olive Young too. But um, just like a little, it's cheaper on Yes Style, so. Um, take that as you will and i also have a yes sell code so i'll just like put that right here selfless plug or shameless plug selfless and i'll also put it in the description if you're curious but that's enough talking about mm very pretty very cute i'd rate them like a seven like a seven 7.5 if we're being generous okay next i got this other lip tint and maybe you've guys seen this maybe you haven't i've been seeing it all over my tiktok Okay, but Roman came out with this like new, um, their new line and it's called Milk Grocery, right? And oh my God, my nails match the freaking packaging. 
cute. Please ignore how grown out my nails are. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, they, this one came in three colors for the lip tint. This is their dewy full water tint. So another dewy lip tint because I just love dewy lip tints because you just... I love glossy, shiny lips and it tints your lips and you don't need lip gloss. Like, it's a winning situation. But yeah, there's three colors for this. There was like a purple one and I don't remember. I think there was like a peach one. I got the pink one. What color is it called? Good question. So I got this in Murmur Pink. The packaging is so pretty. Everything I showed you guys, the packaging just like did not miss at all. It's so beautiful. I don't know. ASMR, okay, ASMR moment. And yeah, so I'm wearing, I wore Murmur Pink first and then I topped it off with Cheshire. But what are my opinions on it? It's actually, I was scared that the pink was gonna be way too light because light pinks just don't look good on me because I have, my lips are naturally like a darker shade. They're not like light pink. But this is very, very beautiful. If you have pink lips, like this will look so beautiful on you. But it also, if you have darker, like a darker shade of lips like me, like my lips aren't really pink. They're like kind of a more brown, brownish pink. It still looks beautiful on you. Like the, the pink is like very, very natural. Like it doesn't look too light and it doesn't wash you out. And it's also very buildable and comfortable. So I really love this and I'm really happy that it didn't disappoint. Yeah, I'm gonna rate her a nine. I know I, I just started rating out of nowhere, but yeah, I'm just gonna start rating. And yeah, also just to let you guys know, I got the lip tint and the eyeshadow and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the last thing I got right here. I got eyeliner and I got this all in a set for 39 when they originally cost like 75, I think, or 80, something like that. Like. Yeah, Olive Young has the deals, they have the sets, they have the everything. You have to check out their website and use my code if you're interested. Anyways, <laughs> I got the Auto Gel line Eyeliner in from Bia, Bibia, and I actually have their eyeliner, I <laughs> forgot, but I have it in a glittery pink, so yeah. But I got this one, this is a very light brown, this is in Almond Beige. So this is what it is, the color. It's a number 14. And why did I get this, you ask? Because I heard it was like really good for Ego Sal, like this color specifically. Because before I use um, um brown eyeshadow to draw out my Ego Sal and like make it more pronounced. But I don't know, it just like left like a shadow, you know? Because obviously it's eyeshadow, so it's not gonna be a thin, precise line. It's gonna have some shadows to it because it's eyeshadow. But I heard, that this eyeliner eyeliner is really good. So I decided to try it for my Ego Sal and I'm so happy I did because I will never go back to outlining my Ego Sal with um, eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. It's so precise guys, like, and it's so smooth. This is such a beautiful um, gel eyeliner, like actually. So I would love to try more colors for this. Like I'd love to see how their darker brown would look like for like eyeliner and like maybe black. I don't know, this is a very, 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 very good eyeliner. It's so smooth, so precise. Ugh, I have no complaints, like this is a 10. Chef's kiss. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my haul. I showed you guys everything, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. If you did, then leave a like. And even if you didn't, still leave a like because you really have nothing to lose and everything to gain, which is my happiness. And leave a comment down below of, of what your favorite makeup product that I showed in this video was or I don't know, video ideas or just tell me how your day was. Maybe you have some college advice for me. Let me know. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to join this growing family. I'll leave a little analytics chart right here. There are a lot of you that are watching my videos but aren't subscribed, but so please consider subscribing because it's free. It helps me out a lot and it takes one click of a button. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click the notification bell so you know the next time that I post. Um, it's very vital, okay? It's very important that you click the notification bell because I am starting college. So I'm scared. I'm scared that my schedule is gonna change again because obviously school comes first. Like I love my YouTube people. I don't know why. <laughs> I love I love you guys, okay? But education is higher for me, of course, because um yeah, I just need a degree, okay? So yeah, if I change my schedule, 
the best way to find out is to have your notifications on hopefully i won't hopefully i can continue to be posting very frequently uh and be consistent still because i want to balance my work not my work this is like a hobby my hobby in school life so yeah sorry i don't know why i'm talking so much i just like missed you guys and i like miss talking on camera it's crazy guys you don't understand like i was born to talk to the camera anyways so that's it i will see you all in the next video i love all of you and i hope you all have a blessed day bye